So are you having a problem getting your maximum solar input on your 6000 XP inverters? You follow the manual, you just think something's wrong with them, it's not right. Well, I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and fix that. The manual for step six in your settings, it might tell you it only goes up to what, 125? Let's look at it right now. It tells you it goes up to a maximum of 140 amps and that's not true for your settings. Let's go ahead and jump on here and show you. All right, if you wanna be able to get your maximum out of your solar, what you're gonna have to do is go to step six, go to step six, press enter. And you see, I got it set at 3520, 3520. So I'm not exactly sure why it's not uh, the zero to 140 like it's supposed to be, but you have to set it at 3520. I forgot to put that out in all my videos I've done. But anytime you reset your, and you, once you get into that, you can press enter, and then you can do 30 for AC charging and 30 for generator charging or whatever you wanna set it at. I don't use that. Then I'll go ahead and escape back. And basically the only reason I'm bringing it up is because I forgot about it, because once I set it up, the stuff just worked and I went on ahead and changed that and just forgot about it. But if you turn your inverters all the way off, you're doing work on them, you're doing testing like I do all the time, turn them off, it goes back to the fault, which I think is 125 or something like that. And it's not gonna take them to maximum. So the day when I was at work, I was looking at my solar input and I'm like, what's going on? I didn't have the maximum that I thought I should have coming in. So when I got home, I looked, I said, oh, my settings, you kind of reverted for some of them. So anytime you turn your stuff off, you need to go back and check all your settings. And that's a quick little fix. If you're having a problem and you're like, my solar input is just not right. Just set that up at the maximum and go to for step six and your solar input's gonna be the maximum that is allowable by the MPPT that you have on your inverter. And if you like this kind of video, you like this kind of tips, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button. If you're interested in one of these inverters, of course I have it linked up below. And if you use my links, it's an affiliate link. I do make a little commission off of it. It does help me out and I greatly appreciate it. Hey, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button, like I said, and thanks for watching.